Okay, so we're gonna get into one of the more exciting things of the build, which is bleeding the hydraulic brake system. And so I'm just gonna show you how to do this on the front brakes. Uh, first, you will wanna remove the tires from the, from the assembly. So this will expose the calipers. And uh, what you have here is a couple of different connections. You've got this PTFE plastic line that acts as your hydraulic brake line. You've got some T-piece connectors and that kind of sits up front that will tie the two front calipers to the one master cylinder. So want to make sure that you have enough movement uh, on the enough slack on the line so that you have movement for steering. Use a very sharp knife so that it cuts the line cleanly. Cut two angles that are exactly the same. Make sure that the, the, the line isn't deformed in any way. And those just press fit in to the little right angle connection right there. So you'll feel them bite in as soon as you get them pressed in all the way and make sure they're fully seated. From after you've done that, uh, make sure that those are tight. Do not over tighten those because those little right angle connections, they will break off if you over tighten it and then you'd have a real problem. Uh, snap the T line together. Make sure that the brake lines are fully seated again. And then the next thing you'll want to do is connect your brake line from the master cylinder up to the T line. Now you can use either master cylinder that you want. You can use the left one or the right one to operate the front brakes. I used the left for the front. In hindsight, I probably would have flipped that around uh, so that the left side actually operated the rear brakes and I probably will change that in the future. I'll explain why on a later video when we go into the radio programming. So on the bottom of each caliper you have these little valves and what these are, these are bleeder valves. Uh, I actually had one of those loose rolling around in my box but they have a little tiny hole and that lets you bleed the uh, brake lines and so what you're going to do is you're going to go one turn from closed on this valve so open it up one turn and this is how we're going to bleed the brake calipers so on each side on the front you're going to do those one turn from closed and then on the master cylinder we're actually going to close this valve while we bleed the brake line from caliper from each caliper to the to the T line. So that's closed. And in the kit, you get these two syringes, and you get some brake fluid. You get plenty of brake fluid, enough to bleed the brakes probably a half a dozen times. And so what you'll do is on one of the syringes, you're going to uh, fill fill it up with some fluid and then I usually just tried to burp out some of the bubbles so that it as soon as I put it in I didn't wasn't putting any more air into the brake lines than needed then you'll take the so I was making sure that the valve was closed there you'll take the opposite syringe put it on the other side and what you'll do is you're gonna push push the brake fluid into the lines and then as it gets over by the caliper, you're going you're gonna to pull on the empty syringe to make sure that it pulls brake fluid all the way through the caliper so that there's no air bubbles. So as I'm working out on both sides, you can see, so there's a lot of bubbles coming out of that caliper, and I'm looking for it to be more consistent so you can see in the line the brake line there from the caliper through the T line there's no air bubbles so I'm gonna loosely tighten off that valve and then torque it down now these take a fair amount of force to make sure that they're tightened all the way uh, so just make sure that they're not leaking but we're gonna come back after the master cylinder is bled to make sure that those are that those are tightened up. So now we're going to open the master cylinder. So with one brake caliper closed off, the other one still open and still connected, 
we're going to now bleed off the master cylinder. So you can see I got some, some brake fluid down there. So you're going to again just push that syringe to fill that remaining line. And we're watching the empty syringe. We're watching for the air bubbles to where the air bubbles stop coming out because it has to fill up that whole master cylinder complete with brake fluid. You don't want to have any bubbles in the brake line at all because otherwise you won't you won't get very strong or consistent brakes. So you can see I'm starting to get more consistent less bubbles. Keep a rag on hand because it gets a little messy bleeding them. So now what you got to do is, is carefully close off each, each of those air valves, those bleeder valves. And so there's no bubbles in the brake line at all. And so this is again where I'm, I'm carefully trying to close those valves without letting any air into the system before undoing the syringes. So tighten those valves after you remove the syringes. Tight, get, them, get them pretty snug. Uh, wipe them off clean with the rag. And then what you're gonna do is when you when you cycle the master cylinder, inspect those valves, check to see if you got any weeping of any brake fluid because that might indicate that you're not completely tight on those. And also, additionally, once you do cycle the master cylinder for the first time, you're probably going to force a couple of air bubbles out. Uh, you're going to see you're going to see here in the video uh, as I operate the master cylinder with the little brake lever you're going to see a couple of bubbles start forming and so what you'll do is is you're just going to have to re-bleed the brakes so that's me operating it so I'm putting a bit of force on there if you look on the left front caliper you can see there's a couple of bubbles that are starting to form and so that just indicates that you know once you started moving the master cylinder uh, you were getting a little bit more brake fluid and forcing it around so those air bubbles, you're just going to have to re-bleed the system again, which is no big deal because that's, that's pretty common the first time you bleed these. So you just want to work all those air bubbles out. So repeat this process that you watched us do by, by uh, loosening one of the valves on the caliper and then loosening the valve on the master cylinder. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below.